For 2019, the Polaris Indy has taken a bit of a turn. Now no longer a lesser equipped sled with fewer options, the Indy XC has features and benefits you're not gonna find anywhere else in the Polaris lineup. First and foremost is the 129 inch track length. The XC rear skid is a coupled design and extends the track length to a much nicer and industry-wide accepted length. Truthfully, the 129s are now the real 120s. As everyone agrees, 129 sacrifices almost nothing and gains huge in the compliance and ride department. But what is it about the XC rear skid that really sets this Indy in the premium category? And to answer that, it's not as simple as just one thing. It's a whole lot of things with a lot of fine tuning to produce what might just possibly be the best riding rear skid over the most varying terrain in the entire industry. I know that statement sounds like there's fine print, but it's not like that. The truth is Polaris learned a lot with the ProRide rear uncoupled skid, and they've always known a great deal about coupled designs and the XC, well, it's a melting of both of those concepts to bring the ultimate in ride quality with minimal adjustment needed. Not to say you don't have to adjust the XC, but it isn't like the rush where fine tuning is needed. The XC rear skid is coupled, which means that the front and rear shock are mechanically linked and they'll work together to soften out bumps. While Polaris claims it works excellent over far more conditions than the rush or switchback, I'd say if anything, they understated it. This skid literally removes most of the trail chatter, braking bumps, mid-sized moguls, and even some of the one-hit wonder trail craters you encounter on late season rides. It's almost as though you're levitating over the junk your buddies ahead of you get beat up by. While the rear skid isn't completely perfect, it's very close to it, and it's benefited by some of the best rear shocks that we've ever seen. Polaris and Walker Evans go hand in hand. However, Indy did not until now. And this new generation of XC skid gets the best quality Walker shocks we've ever seen. They're similar to the race slide velocity shocks with the piggyback mounted lower on the shock body and allowing for greater resistance on bottoming and better bump compliance. Oh, and they have loads of adjustability too. When you link all this up to a very long front torque arm and the 129 rail length, you have a true competitor for the Skidoo R motion. Now the base model Indy always struck a chord with us from a handling perspective and the new Indy XC in designer clothes, yeah, it can walk the walk as well. Underneath all that purdy painted tunnel, glossy plastics and fancy bits is the heart of an Indy. Even at 129 inches, you get the surgeon's knife precision as you carve this sled through the trails. Up front, the IFS still produces unmatched responsiveness and confidence inspiring bump absorption, but features Walker Evans piggybacks with lots of adjustment available. I can handily say this is my favorite handling front end in the business, and when you match it up with the 129 XC skid, well, this is a sled I wouldn't mind having in my own garage. I'm not trying to sidestep the power question. Yeah, this is a 600, and no, it hasn't seen any updates. But does the Liberty 600 really need an update? The answer, it's twofold. It's both yes and no. Truly for the performance and economy deliveries of this sled, nothing is needed. It hits like an 800 and it pulls hard from tip-in till the thumb warmer gets cozy with the hand grips. And there really isn't anything to complain about in between. But is that enough for today's tech-savvy buyers? Arctic Slot Skirt 600 is techy and brings reliability to a new level with a simple but very smart design. Skidoo 600R is, well, it's a Skidoo. It's high-end and very tech-focused with only a hint of oil used and straw-sipping fuel usage. Reliability will be known once we see more time. So while the Polaris 600 Liberty Clean Fire is a solid performer, it's the elder of the group. Does that mean it's bad? Certainly not, but it's no longer the best technology. And it may not be at the top of the horsepower game either. But then again, this is a 600 Indy XC. If we wanted big power, let's buy an 850 Indy and be done with it. But in my opinion, 600 class buyers are looking for good performance, great reliability, and excellent economy. And this sled, yeah, it delivers in full on those fronts. Add to this the snow check select features I'm riding today, and you get the digital GPS gauge with a million great uses, factory equipped LED headlight that's the best in the industry and quality switch gear. Snow check select gives you the option of the windshield, color, track, and all that good stuff in the specific layout that you want. I mean, Polaris is really giving buyers exactly what they ask for with automotive-like options to customize the sled to the rider in ways no one else is offering.
The 600 Indy XC is a force to be reckoned with. It delivers power and economy that are amongst the best in its class, and handling that might just be second to none. If you enjoyed the video that you just saw, like it and then subscribe to our page for more great content from Snowtracks TV.